Hey everyone, it's David here, and today I've got an annoying spider who is making lots of horrible noise. Anyway, let's ignore that. Today, what we're really here for is to showcase the new set home and home commands for vanilla Minecraft using command blocks. So if anybody's used the Essentials plugin, you can normally type set home and it will set you a home wherever you are and then you can type home to go back to your home at any time so you can't do this in vanilla minecraft um, and it's quite difficult to do using command blocks so I did do a previous video showing it in 1.9 however they changed the snapshot so that that one didn't work anymore so today I'm going to show you the new improved version which uses a lot less command blocks and it's really simple anybody can do it I'll show you how to do it so here we go then so I'm going to show you how it works and to set yourself a home you type trigger set home set one there you go and you get a message saying home set to go back home anytime type trigger home set one so the first command to set yourself a home is down here trigger set home set one that will set you a home anywhere so let's go let's go let's set a home on the beach there we go right to, so I'm gonna fly away just because it's easier so now to go back home we need to type trigger home set one and there we go I'm back on the beach so some of the more observant people will have noticed that I went to the end and then back again and I've had to escape the credits to get back to my home which is a bit of a a cheaty way of sort of getting back to your home so let me show you how this works then so I've got some command blocks here let me just set the time today so that we can actually see everything decently oh that's better okay so these command blocks here do everything that one that one and that one simple as so what I'll do is I'll take you through each command block in turn and show you how it's done. So I'm going to put a sign on this one. That's the um, that's the set home stuff. And this here is the go back to your home stuff. So I'll show you the set home first. So there's a repeating command block which has the tell raw command in it for everybody with a set home score minimum of one with the text in there so server green text and then home set blah 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 the, the message in there I'll put all the commands in the description then there's a conditional chain command block so this command fires when the one before it is successful so it executes to the nearest player with a set home score minimum of one and does the command spawn point at p so sets that player spawn point then after that another conditional chain command block so when that one before it's successful this command will run scoreboard players set all players with a set home score minimum of one and will reset their set home score to zero and then finally to re-enable that trigger command it does scoreboard players enable all players set home so you may have noticed there's um, a scoreboard um, objective in there so to do that objective is scoreboard objectives add um, set home and it's a trigger it's a trigger type of objective so if you do that press enter that will put the objective in there obviously mine already exists and that is the set home part of it 
easy peasy. The only thing you've got to do here is when somebody joins your server, if you want to give them the ability to do this, um, either someone will have to already have the ability and do and do the set home command, which will then rerun it for everybody. Or what we'll have to do is um, do this command manually for new players who join your server so that they can do the set home and also the same for the home command as well, which is the home trigger. So that's set home, really easy. The home is a bit more complicated, so I'll go through that now. First command, repeating command block, always active. And it's going to execute to all players with a home score minimum of one and a home score of one. So anybody with a home score of one, that will select. And it will then summon an armor stand two blocks above the player with a name of home and you know it will, it's got no gravity and it's persistent it won't it won't just despawn so we summon a an armor stand above the player who's got a home score of 1 then a conditional chain command which will then set the scoreboard player's set all players with a home score of 1 it will set their home score onto 2 The next command is an execute command, so execute to all entities with the name of home. These are the armor stands that spawned above the player, and it will then and it will then set a block one below the armor stand with an of end portal, which will then cause the player to teleport to the end. So that's how we get the player to the end. And then another conditional chain block which which I've done this to create some delay otherwise it doesn't work so it sets it will set this block here that one there to a redstone block so set block two blocks on the z-axis redstone block so that will make that a redstone block there which will activate this chain when it activates this will then set this block again back to air so that there's not no redstone block left there it just activates once then the next side of it we're going to execute um, we're going to get rid of the end portal below the armor stand so it's going to execute to all entities with the name of home and set block one block below the, the armor stand to air which will get rid of the end portal because we don't want those lying around everywhere that would be chaos then what we do, we kill all the armor stands with the name of home. So we've got rid of the end portal. Now we can kill the armor stands. And finally, we just want to re-enable the home trigger for all players. Scoreboard players enable all players home. And that is it. However, we have got one more thing we need to do to make this work. We need to do something in the end. So let me just get myself to the end. So I'm just going to... Uh, set block end portal oh that's going to teleport me to the end so so underneath your end where you spawn in the end you're going to have to create two command blocks okay so the first one will TP the nearest play, the, oh, the player within a radius of five with a home score of two. So remember that previous chain set the person's home score to two. So they arrive in the end. Then they will get TP'd to these coordinates. I'll show you what's at these coordinates in a minute because depending on what, what how, you, how your end world is, you will have to change these coordinates. And then a conditional chain block, which will then set so when that block when that TP is successful it will then set all player score with a home score of 2 back to 0 which resets the whole the whole thing so i'll put that back so let's 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 go up here oh, so what i'll do is i'll show you what's at those coordinates so what you have to do 
when in the end you have to build yourself an end portal. So those coordinates, let me try and explain this in a good way. So those coordinates are here. So if I've got that bedrock above me like this, those coordinates will teleport me to here. So, and guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to fall straight into that end portal and I'm going to go back to my home. And it's that simple. So when you've built yourselves one of these in the end, you just need to remember what the coordinates are of where you are. So you can see there, look, I'm at 146, 69 and 1. So that's exactly where I've built this thing. So those coordinates will change for you depending on where you build it. I just lit it up. You don't have to put torches on it. I just did that for no reason. So when I go back to this, you see those coordinates are in here. So anyone with a home score of 2, who we know is in the process of going to their home, will get TP'd to that place. They'll fall in the end portal and they'll go back to their, they'll go back to their, um, either their bed location or the location where they've set their home. So I'm just going to do that, I'm just going to fall in there. And there it is. You get the credits, but obviously you have to escape the credits, unless you really like watching Minecraft credits, which would be a little bit sad. Um, I get the other thing to say is that this works in the nether as well, and it also works while you're in the end, so there's no problems there. So, oh, get rid of the rain. That's just the worst timing for rain in a YouTube video. Okay, so so that's that's how you make it. I'll put the commands in the description for you. Um, if you've got any questions or if you've built one that's better I'm sure there's better ways of doing this but this one seems like it's really stable it works really well um, just let us know let us know in the comments please leave a like for us because we want more and more people to see this um, a lot of people viewed the other vanilla set home and home but it did stop working so hopefully this one will work forever and yeah if you um, want to leave us a comment Go and do it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye for now.